A shooting star! Let's make a wish. Diana, there's something seriously weird going on. No kidding. Why would Java want to borrow my complete works of Shakespeare? Hello? Focus, Diana. I'm talking about my socks. They're disappearing quicker than the Amazon rainforest. I'm down to my last one. Hmm. Get a grip, Martin. Everybody loses a sock in the laundry every once in a while. Of course, only you can lose all of yours. At uh, one flaw in your theory, sis. I don't do laundry. Maybe they're being devoured by cannibalistic sock gnomes. This could be the start of a whole sock gnome invasion. No worries. If they're eating your socks, the indigestion alone will defeat them. Me love you. Love you too. Huh? Okay. Either I'm hearing things or Java has a girlfriend? No way. Even I don't have a girlfriend. Me love you. <gasps> so that's why he's suddenly interested in Shakespeare. He wanted to brush up on his sweet talk to impress a girl. <gasps> Yeah, well, whoever she is, she better be homely and real hairy, or I'm gonna lose all hope. <laughs> Here's that book you wanted. <laughs> you silver-tongued caveman. Okay, Java, where is she? She who? Nobody here but Java. Uh-huh, you better punch some air holes in that thing, buddy. <laughs> Center! I realize cavemen aren't known for treating women as equals, but this is crossing the line. Long history. Clear. Diana Longhorn. Clear. Java the caveman. Clear. Yo, B, what up? Oh, remind me to high five you later, Martin. Mom said not to dawdle. She's having a really busy day. being phobic about rodents, but I'd always thought you were a little bit tougher than that. Careful, it's a bit nippy. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that's not a hamster. <laughs> it's a glomer beast. The tranquilizer will keep it in suspended animation until it can be deported back to its home planet. There's no telling how many have infiltrated pet shops all over the Earth. <laughs> all right, I love cruising pet shops. Uh, do I get my own tranquilizer? No, that's not your mission, Martin. I want your team to investigate a ghost town near Great Salt Lake, Utah, called Bridger's Gap. Population currently zero, but at one time it was a bustling town of, uh, 34. Hmm, not exactly party central. Yeah, uh, how about something a bit more exciting? Ooh, with lasers! I think we should look into this sock-eating gnome invasion force that's... <gasps> uh-huh, right. Code ran at the alien detention facility. They're undergoing a hamster population explosion. Billy will show you to the door. Ghost town? Been there, done that. Aha, uh -huh, but this one has a twist. Up until two days ago, Bridger's Gap wasn't a ghost town. You mean the whole town suddenly just disappeared? Huh. Martin, I managed to get a look in Java's footlocker. There was no one in there, just a bunch of clothes and stuff. Poor Java was talking to himself in a girl's voice. Oh man, the poor guy. And I thought I was desperate for a date. He's gone loco. Mm. Uh, but don't let it get you down. Hey, we all get a little lonely once in a while. Not Java lonely, town lonely. The poor huh? guy's in total denial. Mm, it's quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, 
Usually there's at least crickets. right in the middle of loading their groceries. But who or what could be responsible for a whole town suddenly going missing? Java don't know. Martin, why are you so quiet? Normally you'd have about 20 theories by now. Uh... Martin! Martin disappeared! Freaky! Oh. Uh... Uh... Huh. <laughs> Martin, okay! Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack! Wait till you see this! I almost hurled! Uh, over there! It's a... it's a... Uh, a melted banana split? I was expecting some nasty slime or something! I wish! It'd be less disgusting than rotten bananas! Hmm... No looting or signs of a struggle. Wherever these people went, they went all at once. And all of a sudden... Java, hear something. <laughs> Maybe they've been carried off by a demonic dust devil! A demonic dust devil? The guy can dream, can he? Gross! All right! It's probably some sort of ectoplasm that will indicate a demonic manifestation. Viewport activated. Slime scan selected. With any luck, the town is built on an ancient native burial site, and an army of ghostly warriors has finally risen up to take back their sacred hunting grounds. General classification, fungus. <laughs> More like an army of slimy mushrooms. What a bust. Okay, people don't just vanish into thin air. Let's try a bioscan. Bioscan selected. Scanning radius 20 kilometers. Two humans, one proto-human. Just you, huh. me, and the caveman. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whatever's in there, it's not human. Oh. <gasps> hey, what will you have? Oh, <sighs> cheeseburger. Mm. Oh, the you watch mm. must be busted. And how much you want to bet the warranty expired yesterday? Mm. Huh? Uh, hello, I'm Diana, and this is. Hey, what will you have? Cheeseburger. Uh, no, nothing for me, thanks. You see, we're wondering what happened to all the- <gasps> Would you quit that? I have a good excuse this time. Look! <gasps> hmm, think the center made a mistake? Everything seems fine here. Yeah, except they don't know how to curb their dogs in this town. Hmm. Excuse me. Nice day, isn't it? Yes, well, night, actually. But I was wondering if you could tell me where you've been. Nice day, isn't it? Huh. Oh, look at that, and I got it all over my last good sock, too. Wait a sec. This is the same fungus stuff I stepped in before. Hey, what will you have? Uh, cheeseburger. Everybody in town is totally spaced out. Oh, maybe they've just been wandering around lost for the last couple of days. Huh. We better check this out. sort of 
new HQ spa treatment. Java hungry. That's our Java, all right. Hmm. Legend X selected. Good idea. Should have thought of this before. This has been really bugging me. There are zero entries for sock-eating hmm. gnomes. Sock-eating gnomes? Uh, forget about your stupid socks! I thought you were running a search on Bridger's Gap! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. Hmm. There's one hit, uh, but it's an old entry. A UFO sighting in the late 50s. Investigated and found to be a routine meteorite. That slime pit looked like a crater. It must be where the meteor landed. But where all that gooey slime come from? I'll bet it hitchhiked here on that meteorite. It's some kind of space line. But what's it doing to these people? And what took it so long? It landed almost 50 years ago. Well, we could ask them, but they're not talking. Nice <laughs> job, isn't it? Hey, what will you have? Okay, slowly back away. Don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> Java hungry. I hear you, pal, but this is no time to... Uh-oh. Maybe this isn't our Java. He's one of them! <laughs> <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Hey, what you have? Nothing registered on the bioscan. These aren't humans, they're walking slime balls. Diana! And Java!
sublime. <laughs> Maybe I scared it off. No. Maybe you made it mad. Don't worry. On second thought, worry. <laughs> hey, what are you have? Nice day, isn't it? Salt Lake. So, our wounds will sting a lot more when we fall in. Oh, we're not gonna fall. We're gonna jump. Uh, Java, stay here. Not a chance. Oh, oh! oh Java, no swim. the whole lake just to be on the safe side the citizens of bridger's gap have been restored none the worse for wear it seems their slime replicants were fungal spores so the alien was going to spread itself by mimicking human beings apparently it was a slow growing life form it took 50 years to grow to the point where it was large enough to self-reproduce and it took two seconds for us to destroy it we rock agent mystery why are you only wearing one sock uh, it's a long story, and hopefully one that'll end in a hail of laser fire and sizzling sock gnomes. Huh? I can't believe Mom didn't want to get to the bottom of the mystery of the missing socks. Gee, imagine that. Well, if I have to go it alone without backup, then that's what I'll do. I love huh? Huh? You. Nino can that's Java. Now he's talking to himself in public. <laughs> well, we better get him out of here before he totally embarrasses himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Romeo! Romeo! No, leave me! Me no live without Juliet! Me no live too! <laughs> Talk about your far-fetched theories! Even I wouldn't have guessed it was a caveman doing Shakespeare with sock puppets! <laughs> Welcome to Pandasia, home of YTV's newest show, Pandalian. YTV.com has a sneak preview of the first episode. I told you those acting classes we took would pay off. I like TV. Be the first to see Pandalian on YTV.com today. <laughs>